Only 5% of older adults live in assisted living arrangements. The philosophy of aging in place responds to older people's desire to stay out of nursing homes. Home improvement and home equity conversion mortgages offer two options for older homeowners to age in place. They expand a person's ability to maintain a home and pay the high cost of maintenance and taxes. The administration on aging reports that apartment dwellers accounted for 20% of all households headed by older people in 2007. These renters tend to be older women and they have about half the income of homeowners. Compared to homeowners, renters tend to spend a higher proportion of their income on housing, about 30% more. Congregate housing offers private apartments where residents share recreational activities, transportation, and other services as they choose. Congregate housing reduces older adults from feeling isolated and gives them a sense of safety and emotional security. The federal government, through the Housing of Urban Development, has constructed more than 6,000 housing facilities for older people since 1959. This has meant an increase of 270,000 housing units for poorer older people. In the early 2000s, HUD produced about 5,800 housing units a year. The Housing for Urban Development Administrators referred to this program as Section 202 Supportive Housing for the Elderly Program under the National Affordable Housing Act of 1990. It is the only federal government funded program focused solely on older people. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development defines single room occupancy as a unit often within a multiple unit property occupied by one person. These units may contain food preparation or sanitary facilities or both. In the past few years, many central cities have torn down the old hotels that served as SRO housing. HUD sponsors a program for the creation of SRO housing and the subsidy of SRO residents. Some housing options provide older people with assisted living, personal and health care supports. These options include board and care homes and nursing homes. Most board and care homes provide a room, meals, and help with daily activities. Some states will allow some nursing services to be provided. Nursing homes serve people who need medical care in addition to personal care. Nursing homes provide skilled nursing care. More than 15,000 Medicare and Medicaid certified nursing homes exist in the United States. A relatively small number of older people lived in nursing homes in 2008. Accessory dwelling units, sometimes called elderly cottages or in-law apartments, began under the name Granny Flats in the District of Victoria, Australia. They also go by the name Elder Cottage Housing Opportunities. An elder cottage is a small movable cottage that sits in the yard of an adult child's house. The cottage attaches to the house's electrical and water systems. It contains a bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, and sitting area. The small size of the cottage allows the older person to save on maintenance. Retirement communities can take two forms, naturally occurring retirement communities and planned retirement communities. About 25% of older people live in a building or neighborhood where at least half of the people are aged 60 or over. Gerontologists call this a naturally occurring retirement community. Most newer planned retirement communities come about when a developer builds and sells houses to active retirees. These communities supply health services, shopping centers, and recreation facilities. Communities range in size from towns like Sun City, Arizona with 40,000 people to small communities of 9,000 people like Leisure World near Silver Spring, Maryland. Continuing care retirement communities or communities offering life care are designed to offer active seniors an independent lifestyle and a private home from which to enjoy it, regardless of future medical needs. These residents sign a contract with the facility that guarantees them access to housing and defined types of care for the rest of their lives. Living arrangements include living with a spouse, alone, with other relatives, or with non-relatives. 85% of older people live alone or with a spouse. The rest live with another relative or with a non-relative. 
The number of older people who live alone will increase in the future. Higher social security benefits, widowhood, and divorce all contribute to this trend. Most older people today prefer to age in place. This depends on the integration of supportive housing, social services, transportation, and health care. Living arrangements will have to meet the needs of the diverse older population. These needs will range from long-term care and in institutions to new communities for active baby boomers. Home modifications can also help a person age in place. In the sunny state of Florida, connection and chemistry are brewing. I like the laugh. Yeah, it's good. Hi. You want to hold hands? How are you? Sure, sure. You've got beautiful eyes. This is speed dating for the senior set. I'm 78. Holy Holy I'm still young enough to have sex, so I want that. That has to be one of the things that I have to have. Every day of the week? Every day of the week. Just because these men and women are over 65 doesn't mean they're out of the game. The first guy, he wanted to know if I could cook, right? The next guy wanted to know if I could clean, right? And the third guy wanted to know whether or not I... Oh, my God. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's the guy you like? And that was the guy I liked. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do we make the most of our twilight years? We're living longer than ever before. Americans 85 and up are the fastest growing population in the country. My own father, Doug, is 75. Physically, he seems to have decades ahead, but his mind is beginning to show signs of decline, and it's worrying me. What did you do all weekend? I don't remember, to tell you the truth. To help my dad prepare for his future, I'm on a personal journey to look at the many ways America's seniors and their loved ones cope with aging. Some rely on a partner or love. He makes me feel like I'm 16 years old. Others count on family when they can't take care of themselves. I'm not the mother anymore. She's like the mother. And a rare few do it all on their own. I don't want nobody helping me do nothing if I can do it myself. I can't let nothing keep me down. Tonight, we explore how it feels to grow old in America, a topic many prefer to ignore, but with the average life expectancy at 78 years old, how can we? America, it can be inspiring and beautiful, 